This video describes some experiments that I performed using semantic segmentation on an IGPilot powered rover in order to give autonomous pathfinding capabilities. The goal here was to use semantic segmentation to determine where a footpath or bike path is and send the send corrected um, directions to the RG Pilot flight controller, which would then move the robot accordingly so it could stay on the path. Semantic segmentation is a machine learning technique uh, that takes an image and classifies the different regions and areas in the image. Uh, for example, a path, sky, ground, grass, trees can all be labelled as areas within an image. Platforms with uh, good machine with powerful machine learning GPUs like NVIDIA Jetsons and so forth are good for these sort of portable applications. The hardware I used for the robot was relatively low key. Um, I used the Runt Rover frame for the sort of the overall chassis and motors. Um, then I just stuck a plastic food container on top that contains all of my electronics, as you can see the top-down view here. Uh, within the box, I've got an NVIDIA Jetson Nano in the top right. Uh, bottom right has an RG Pilot pilot flight controller, in this case an MRO Hex 2.17 uh, F7. And then on the right, I have a rover base board, which just has the batteries, pa power regulation, and the motor controllers. Um, oh yeah, I also got just a Raspberry Pi V2 camera attached to the Jetson at the front there as well for vision. Uh, there's a pair of stereo cameras there which are not used. They were part of a previous experiment. Uh, on top, there's, which you can't see here, there's your usual GPS compass module. And then just at the rear of the rover is, are some NeoPixel LEDs just so I can tell the arming state and status of the rover. Getting into the software itself, I developed some custom software called Segmav, which runs on the Jetson. Um, this is a simple tree diagram of how the software works. Um, what the software does is it overall monitors using Mavlink telemetry connect with a UART connection between the flight controller and the Jetson. It monitors the Mavlink telemetry, in this case, the RC10 channel. Depending on the RC channel PWM level, it will perform one of three actions. Um, just at low P PWM, uh, 1000, it will stop what it's doing. That It won't stop the rover itself. It will just stop sending, it will just stop sending commands to it. Um, at 1500 PWM is a video record function, uh, in which case it will the Jetson will li live record a compressed stream of video from the front camera. This is useful for generating data sets for later debugging and testing. At 2000 PWM, it will do the command, command of the rover, in which case it will take the video input, perform real-time semantic segmentation on that, calculate a corrected relative angle that the rover should head in in order to stay on the path, and it will send this as a Mavlink message to the rover. Um, it would also save the visualization of this to file, uh, which is useful for later debugging as well. So from all this, you can simply use just a RC controller, um, in this case, channel 10. It's just a freeway switch um, to set the mode of the Sigma of software. In the case of of the detailed uh, image processing. Here's a visualization of Segmav, that is when it's running. Uh, this is what you get from the visualization output. Um, so we've got the steps there on the left. Uh, so first what it does is just semantic 
segmentation um, using some of the default libraries that NVIDIA provides. Um, this will split the image into the different regions that you can see here. Uh, blue for sky, purple for the path, a bit of green for the trees and grass as well. Uh, it will then mask this to the selected class that we want, in this case the path. It will then get the largest blob um, contained within this class, which you can see is the red polygon there. Uh, it will then split this into two horizontal strips, uh, the, two, the blue lines you see there. Um, it will get the centroid of each of these strips, the white dots, and from this it can calculate the relative angle of the path and hence calculate a corrected relative angle where a negative angle is anti-clockwise and a positive angle is clockwise and you can see the relative bearing text up there in the upper left of the screen um, running this on a jetson nano um, there's the particular semant semantic segmentation data set i used um, that's freely downloadable from the Jetson dash infer inference repo um, on the Jetson Nano. I got around seven frames per second, which is about the minimum sort of performance you'd want for real time processing. And here we have a live demo of it here. You can see visualization in the lower left as it just navigates through this bend in the path. Um, fairly simple demo, but it sort of shows that it can stay in the path and navigate around those curves. And here's a second demo just on a local bike path. Again, you can see the visualization there, this time in the upper left as it navigates around the curve in the path and just continues on. Uh, for the most part of the ex experiment, it stayed on the path. Um, in some of my other experiments, it did sometimes. The semantic segmentation was a bit off when it had mislabeled, uh, mis mislabeled the items in the image, and that would sometimes go off the path. Um, so it, the quality of the tracking very much depends upon the quality of the semantic segmentation data set that you're using. Uh, in my case, I just use the default NVIDIA ones, which will just give fairly basic performance. Um, to make it reliable, I definitely recommend looking at better data sets, uh, more tuned data sets. Um, in terms of the performance sort of I'd definitely recommend getting something a bit better than a Jetson Nano. Um, with this sort of average data set, semantic segmentation data set in a Jetson Nano, I was only really able to get seven frames per second, um, which is just enough for the sorts of speeds that I'm running at here, so of half a meter per second, and the um, reaction time that you need. So sort of I found I needed about a 200 millisecond reaction time of the real-time processing. So that's about the results of my experiments here using semantic segmentation for autonomous navigation of an RG pilot powered robot. It generally worked well. The reliability is fairly average. Uh, so any sort of future experiments, you definitely want to look at using different, better data sets and potentially faster um, NVIDIA Jetson boards. Uh, but overall, I was pretty happy with how, how it went. Um, it's a very nice proof of concept. So thank you for watching this video. I'll post a link below with to the Segmav software, which is just hosted on GitHub. And I definitely appreciate people who want to test the software or enhance it and um, push back any changes to the repository. Um, have fun.